You know, there's a difference between confidence and being cocky. And I don't really like to show off. I feel like if I just show on, on the track and, you know, expose my talent that God has blessed me with on the track, then I don't have to be using words to explain who I am. I started running when I was five years old. And I started off doing summer track. Because I didn't take it serious, my mom wanted to take me out. But my grandpa, he was like, no, just, you know, try it, just keep her in. So ever since then, it's been running. My grandpa played a really big role in my life. You know, my biological dad wasn't in my life. My grandpa really was in my life and like the father figure. Raven is an uh, age group phenom. So if you go all the way back to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Raven ran some national age group records, both in the 400 and the uh, 800. So you're just seeing the evolution of that as she continues to, to get older and develop more. I knew that going to college would be hard. And I was like, these people are already in the game. They already know how things are ran. I'm just like everyone else. When I get to the line and I'm running against faster people, like really known people, I mean, I kind of have to think they're a person too. So everyone can get beat. I can be beat. Everyone is good. Everyone's talented. So it comes down to hard work. She has a big heart, you know. She invests herself in everything she does. But sometimes it's hard, you know. I'll have a bad day, and she'll she's gonna have an amazing day, and we get competitive. We are so competitive in practice. It's unreal. You know, we're like sisters and stuff, but it gets heated in practice. So we feed off each other's strengths and weaknesses, which really helps me and helps her as well. I want to be able to break the norms, the social norms too. I don't dress going to school in sports clothes all the time. So if someone saw me, they wouldn't even know that I was an athlete because I don't even wear my backpack. I wear purses to school. I'm really silly, like really goofy. I like making people laugh. Making people laugh makes me happy. That's a big part of who I am. So, you know, I am a person, I was raised on religion, like Baptist family, like, you know, believing in my faith. And I take that serious in what I do. I pray before every time I'm on the line. And so when he says set, I pray. And then he says go, I'm off. I tried to like back away from like saying, Lord, please let me get first place. Cause it's like, I mean, if I don't get first place then it's like, okay, I understand that that's not the right time that I need to be running or getting first place. So yeah, I kind of just, you know, just live life, just be a natural. I was the only freshman in the finals. And so being a freshman, you know, people are like, oh, she's new to the game. She's not gonna know what's going on. My grandpa passed 2011, and I made a promise to myself that I would win this for my grandpa. My family means a lot to me. Like, I'm not a mama's girl, I'm not a daddy's girl, I'm a family's girl, because they raised me. This is a child prodigy who ran it, you're not going to believe this, at 12 years of age, under 54 seconds for 400 meters. She's got rounding into great form, more from her in just a moment. And she is a front runner supreme, but this wind is going to be very tough to navigate. You know, to your point, Dwight, we commented. Now the question is, can the field stalk and run her down in this next lap? With 50 meters left into the race, I literally, kid you not, felt a lift and a roar. There was a wave that lifted me up because of the roaring. It was buzzing in my ear, and there was this yelling, and I was like, oh, God. So I was like, just get to the finish line. Like, come on. And this crowd going crazy is going to win this 800 her first year at this meet. Phenom indeed, and now NCAA champion. What a finish. One minute. 59.71 seconds. To show you how good that is, the collegiate record set by Susie Faber Hamilton is just tenths away at 159.11. So, so when I crossed the finish line at first, I was excited about that. You know, I was thinking, God, if I saw the time, I was like, whoo! I was not expecting 159. I really had to stay calm. You know, the roar kind of scared me a little bit, but also pushed me. And I'm just... I'm just blessed. That was awesome. I was just, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I want to beat 159, you know? That's not the end. I want to do something that's greater than that. I want to do better and set the standards real high. A lot of people wouldn't come talk to me or wouldn't see this side of me because, 
you know, how athletes are stereotyped. Everyone thinks that athletes are like cocky and, you know, want to separate themselves from everybody else. But I'm not like that. I'm a student athlete, but I'm more of a like person. I'm still a human.